Hey everyone. If you can see me and hear me okay, can you say hi or wave or something? <laughs> if you can't hear me, uh, say I can't hear you. <laughs> Hello. Okay, let's see what this is doing. Okay. If you can see me and hear me, say hi. <gasps> Shellen, hello. I'm so glad you can hear me. Okay. I'm so very glad you can hear me. So I am hanging out in here today. If you guys are watching the recording of this, hello. Um, I just want to do a quick disclaimer. My children are present. Um, they are, my daughter actually is outside making her own beet soup. That's what she told me she's making out of mud and water, of course, because why not? That's what mom used to do. <laughs> um, I've been cooking for a very long time, and she reminded me of that, that I used to make mud pies and soups and really disgusting things outside in the backyard for fun when I was a kid. And who doesn't love doing stuff like that? Um, also disclaimer, I decided to pick like the warmest day that we've had in a really long time to bake a lasagna. So I'm probably going to start sweating. Um, if you cannot see the perspiration on my upper lip right now, it's there and it will probably just get worse. Everybody just, if you're praying people, pray that none of it drips down into the lasagna because that's, that's kind of gross. Hey, Jenny. Hello. And welcome to the Fresser's Kitchen. We're hanging out today, um, baking a lasagna. There's also a link in the chat for you to shop my cousin Shallon's party. So, hey, Shallon, Shallon's here. And she is having a pamper chef. She was kind enough to host a pamper chef party for all of her friends. And a lot of her friends are chefs, which I think is amazing. And I really need, and I want to know how you know all these chefs, Shallon, because I think that's fantastic. And I wish I knew more chefs. I have a few friends that are professional chefs, but not as many as you do, girl. That's that's crazy. Um, I'm so happy you made it, Jenny. I'm so happy that Shallon's here. Hopefully a few more people will join in. If not, uh, hopefully they will catch the recording of this. I have prepped as much as I possibly could to make this a relatively smooth process. I am doing this from memory though and i have not made a lasagna in a long time like the last time i think i made a lasagna was maybe for thanksgiving or something or i don't even remember i know i made one when we lived in south korea the last time and um i just wowed the pants off of some korean friends of mine because they had never had lasagna before like not they don't eat a lot of cheese. Like that's just not a big thing in Korea is a whole bunch of cheese. So to have that much cheese in one dish, they were like, wow. And um, yeah, they took all of the leftovers, like everything that I had left over, they took it home with them. And I was, I was, I was grateful. I was, I was glad that they liked it. I was glad that they enjoyed it so much. And I was glad that they took it off of my hands because who needs to be stuck with a whole lasagna or like half a lasagna? So today everything is prepped. Everything is right here. Um, I have my, this is not a Pamper Chef approved dish. So some of my, my products here today are Pamper Chef items. Um, I will kind of be clicking through some of the, um, the Mardi Gras stuff. So can y'all see the Mardi Gras? Let's party Mardi Gras style. Can y'all see that on your screens? Let me know. Yay or nay, yes or no. Um, let me know if you can see that. I'll click through some of the stuff just so you can get an idea of what Shallon's party actually looks like over on the table platform, which is Pamper Chef's official platform that they had. The consultants begged for it because um, Facebook likes to cut people off and be like, oh, you posted way too much stuff. So we're gonna like throttle you. Okay, everybody can see the posts. Um, the Mardi Gras style stuff. So I'm going to try and click through a couple of those just so you can get an idea of what's been going on. 
this week in Shallon's party. You can see some of the items in there. It's not everything. There was way more stuff in there. We had we did a full boot camp, dinner boot camp. So if you want to book your own dinner boot camp, you can do that from Shallon's party. Um, I will include the link for that as well. The link that you see in the chat for me is the shopping link. So that's just for shopping. It does not take you to her table party at all. But if you want the link for the table party, let me know. I can give you that so you can see the full dinner boot camp. Or if you just want to book your own boot camp and check it out that way, you will help Shallon out to get uh, $50 in sort of a $50 shopping spree, if you will, um, just by booking your own party from hers. So you can do that um, and you can purchase, like buy stuff. The higher the dollar amount, the more free stuff that she gets. There's some great host gifts this month. There'll be new host gifts next month if you want to host next month. Um, all sorts of crazy things. But I'm going to go ahead and start arranging this stuff. I'm going to turn another light on real quick first so y'all can see me. It is getting a little dark. So I'm going to try and get um, uh, dinner in the oven <laughs> kind of quickly here. So um, I have a few, like I said, Pamper Chef approved products like my batter bowl here, um, which I use rather frequently for all sorts of different things. Today, I shredded some cheese in there using the microplane zester um, or micro, no, microplane grater. Um, I grated all this cheese in here, so that is ready to go. The batter bowl, of course, is just, it's very, very versatile, of course. And um, of course, it has this great top. So if you do decide to do any sort of prep, you can prep stuff and shove it in the refrigerator with the top on. Um, I also love my glass mixing bowls. I've been trying to switch over to more glass stuff from the um, plastic and whatnot, but it does have these awesome lids. So again, if you do any sort of prep, you can prep and put your top on and shove it in the refrigerator and that works. So this is a mix of ricotta cheese and mozzarella cheese, fresh mozzarella, and some herbs. So I have my Italian herbs and spices that I mixed up myself. Um, so it's thyme and oregano and basil and all that kind of dried and in my own little jar there because I thought that would be fun. So, hey, Amber, welcome to the party. We're just hanging out. I'm gonna assemble this here lasagna. I have my um, two cup measure. This is also Pampered Chef, and in my last sort of live party that I did with some friends, they asked me about my favorite Pampered Chef products, the stuff that I use every day in the kitchen, and honestly, these scrapers are my best friends. They are super high quality silicone, so I love using them. They don't really, in, in spite of the fact that they are white, they don't really stain. I don't know if you guys can see that I've had this for years. This is years old. It's been used down in all sorts of spaghetti sauce and taco stuff and everything, and it doesn't really stain. It's a little discolored, but not as bad as some of the other less expensive ones that I've purchased. So my scrapers, for sure, I use all the time for everything. If it's just scrambling some eggs or making something a little more elaborate, nothing melts. It doesn't retain the color of anything that I've used. And I use a lot of different stuff that could potentially stain. So again, spaghetti sauce or turmeric or anything like that, these don't really stain that way. And they just get washed in the dishwasher. So there's no like special scrubbing or anything that I've used for them. All right, so I have my sauce right here. This is also not a Pamper Chef product. This is my Mercy um, cookware set in the cobalt blue. So although I love my Pamper Chef products, when I first got here to Virginia, I was really excited to buy a really nice set of pots for myself, um, pots and one pan. I have one skillet uh, that came in this set, and that is from a Black-owned brand out of Canada, uh, Mercy Cookware, and I now use these pots and pans pretty much every day for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start by scooping some of the spaghetti sauce in here or the meat meat sauce. Obviously, you can use a meatless sauce as well. Um, you can also, if you want to get fancy with it, 
you can add in some of the Pampered Chef enrichables and just add, it just adds some veggies. Um, I do usually cook with them. I'm out of them right now, um, but I, I like to use them and stuff because it hides veggies in the kids' food. And I know I talked to a lot of friends in the last couple of weeks who have said that their kids love veggies. Mine don't. They do not like veggies. Uh, they probably got that, honestly. I'm not crazy about vegetables. I eat them because they're healthy and they're good for me. But a lot of times I get my veggies either through the Pamper Chef Enrichables or through um, through juice shots. Like I'll get like a juice shot with uh, some veggies in it and I'll do that instead or just juicing in general. I like I like juicing and drinking my veggies instead of eating them. So that's just me. I'm weird like that. And apparently my kids are too. So there's there's that. Um, I also did not mean, Shailen, you had some veggie lasagna. I love veggie lasagna. I love lasagna, period. Um, and I did not mean to get the already made noodles, the already, the oven ready noodles, but alas, here we are. Um, I kind of prefer being able to boil them and get them kind of soft and be able to, I like to be able to cut them because they don't, they don't really fit in my pan exactly the way that I want them to, but we're going to make do because shortages and whatnot, right? Smoothies are great. I love getting in a smoothie. I also have these um, happy, happy mousse um, that I've been getting through Sun Basket. They're, um, they have a, what is it called? Blood orange juice that my son really likes. We all, we all really like it. Um, they have a blood orange juice that's really good. It's called Happy Moose. Uh, and I think they're out of California. But they do cold pressed juices that are just delicious. So I've been drinking those. Um, and they have a variety of shots, juice shots, that are pretty darn good. So, uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. Order my sun basket, get some Happy Moose juice to go with it. And we will drink those all the time. I try to get one in, at least one in every day, sometimes more than one, depending on how, how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes they have one called Vitality. They have another one called Pepino Step. <laughs> um, they have, uh, what is the other one? A Hawaiian Healer, which I don't know what's in it. Everything tastes good and everything has ginger in it, which I love. Does anyone else just love ginger? Like cannot get enough ginger. I love that little like, oh, that little kick when it hits the back of your throat. Oh, I love that feeling. It's a bit much sometimes. It's intense, but so am I. All right. I'm adding my ricotta in here. And this is, again, a mix of ricotta cheese and mozzarella. So it's actually not spreading all that great. Um, because I think some of the mozzarella is kind of chunky still in here. But for the most part, it's spreading on just fine. Um, you don't have to, if you, you know, don't eat meat, don't eat veggies. If you're vegan, you can definitely modify any of these recipes that most of the recipes that I do, I find it pretty easy to modify them and either use like a, um, some sort of meat substitute, um, or I'll put seafood in there or do just like a veggie lasagna. I've even done, um, I did a lasagna one time where I used sliced eggplant instead of the noodles. So it's sort of thinly sliced eggplant. And it was completely, um, I wouldn't say, it no, it wasn't vegan because I used regular cheese, um, but it was definitely vegetarian and it was Really, really good. And it came out really great. I was pretty proud of myself that day. All right. I'm going to add some cheese in here. So definitely not vegan. I'm adding in, uh, I love the Cracker Barrel cheese. Does anybody else have like a favorite kind of cheese that they use when they're doing macaroni and cheese or lasagna or anything like that? 
I like the Cracker Barrel cheese. My grandmother has sworn by the Cracker Barrel cheese for a long time now, so that is just what we do. If she, by the way, just turned 94 years old, she is still using a meal delivery service. I've been sending her the HelloFresh meals for a while now, and it's it's enough food for her to have. Um, I think we get we order. I order about three meals per week for her, and then each meal is for two people, so she has plenty of leftovers to last her for the entire week. So if anyone is interested in any of the meal delivery services, the meal kits that I, uh, I get for myself, we've been doing um, Home Chef and Hello Frat, or so Home Chef and Sun Basket. And the um, few times I've sent the Home Chef to my mom and the HelloFresh I send to my grandmother. And I've been sending that to her for years now. And that one seems to be easy enough for her to either follow the recipe if she feels like following the recipe. Nine times out of 10, she does not follow the recipe. She goes totally rogue and she does what she wants because she's 94 years old and she can do that. <laughs> so she, she'll she just take this the seafood out or just the, the meat out and do whatever she wants with it and she's perfectly happy with it. But she is she's a veggie person, she loves veggies and so she gets plenty of fresh veggies in her Hello Fresh kits and she loves that, that's perfect for her. Um, so if you want any of the, any of the discount codes or anything like that, occasionally I will get a free box and I love to share those kinds of things with everyone. So if you want a free one, this is just a bay, a bay leaf that I'm taking out of here. So nothing too gross. I'm just going to stick it back in the pot there. Um, if you want any of the codes, let me know. I'd be happy to send one to you or send you a free box so that you can try it out for yourself. And again, if anybody's interested in purchasing anything from Shallon's party, please click the link to shop her party today. It closes tonight, so the sooner the better. Get your order in, or you can book your own party, your own Pamper Chef party from her. Right now, the popular one is the dinner boot camp, which is the one that I did for her, but I also added in some fun Mardi Gras posts, and they change from month to month. We can do a theme party for you. If you are vegetarian or vegan, we can switch it up and do something fun um, with just veggie only meals. The dinner boot camp actually includes some vegetarian alternative meals. Uh, there's one whole day basically of posts that um, give you some alternatives, meat alternative options. I'm gonna go ahead and change this slide here so that we have a few, now that we have a few people here. So welcome. I hope everyone got a chance to do something fun for Fat Tuesday. What what did you guys do? I know I'm from Chicago, so our big thing is usually punchkis in like Chicago and Michigan. I think both of those areas, we have a pretty big Polish population. We just love a good punchki. So did anybody get a punchki this year? I did not get one this year. I'm a little bummed about that, but... Um, I'm not entirely sure if they're super popular here in Virginia. I wouldn't know. I did not get a punchki this year. Please cry for me um, because I didn't have one. All right. That didn't work out very well at all, but that's okay. We're going to go with it. As long as it tastes good, it doesn't really matter, right? I'm sure there's a better way to do this. And if you know a better way to do this, feel free to chime in and let me know. Be like, girl, you're doing it wrong. This is how you do it. I don't know. I'm so used to using the regular noodles instead of these oven-ready noodles. I kind of I kind of hate. <laughs> I don't hate much of anything, but I definitely hate these oven-ready noodles. They don't really make me very happy. Mainly for this reason. I like to be able to break... Oh, oh my God. I'd like to be able to cut the noodles instead of trying to break them. This is way harder, way, way harder. Did anyone do anything fun for Fat Tuesday? Let me know if you did anything fun. We didn't really do anything. Um, I cook every day. So every day is Fat Tuesday because we just we just get real fat around here. That's, that's what we do. Um. 
except for the children who nine times out of 10 will refuse to eat my food. My, if you've enjoyed any of the looks of anything that you've seen on my um, Professor's Kitchen Facebook page, rest assured the children did not eat it. More than likely they didn't eat it. They refused and that's the way they get down. I don't appreciate it. It's real, real rude. And I tell them about it all the time. I'm like, y'all are real rude because I put love into all of my, my food. And then they're really unappreciative of the whole thing. So, yeah, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else is going on? Did anybody do anything fun for, um, for Fat Tuesday? Anything at all? I think I saw Shallon did something. She went out and did some cool stuff for Fat Tuesday, and I was thoroughly impressed because I'm, <laughs> I'm an introvert. <laughs> Believe it or not, um, I'm an introvert, and so the whole idea of going out and doing things with people uh, is a bit much for me sometimes. So I did not go out. I did not do anything, but I was okay with that. Um, anybody get like a king cake or anything for Fat Tuesday? I know that's really big in certain areas like Louisiana where, where you know, they do this kind of thing. That's, that's their thing. Um, like I said, I did not do anything. We did not do anything, but that's, that's all right. I think I had to explain to the children what Fat Tuesday even was. We had like a whole entire Mardi Gras discussion in the car because I don't know what they're teaching these kids, but they have not been teaching them stuff that I feel like they should know or discussing cultural events that I felt like were kind of important. <laughs> like Mardi Gras. Like y'all didn't learn about Mardi Gras. You didn't have like a a king cake or anything at school? Like nobody said anything about it at all? Really? All right. Um, so we take every opportunity, mommy duty. Oh, I understand. Believe me. When I first started doing Pampered Chef, I had one baby. Alex was a, a, an infant. No, he was a toddler. He was a toddler and um, I was pregnant with Miranda. And so it was a, a bit of a struggle. I'm not going to lie. It was a big, bit of a struggle getting out to events and stuff. And especially, you know, after those babies get such so big in there and they start pressing on your bladder and stuff, you can't just stand up for hours at a time trying to cook when there's a whole entire person standing on your bladder, like rude, so rude. But anyway, um, so yeah, I, I started it. And one of the, the things that I loved about Pamper Chef back then was because was that they had so many quiet products. So I got the manual food processor, for instance, and that saved me so much grief. I did not wake up the baby anytime I decided that, you know, it's Tuesday and I want some guac to go with my tacos. I didn't have to wake up a whole baby. Well, Alex, I didn't have to wake Alex up <laughs> in order to, um, to make some salsa or to make some guac or whatever. I could do it in my manual food processor and it was nice and quiet. No babies were disturbed in the making of my food. So I love that. All right. Um, so I was Shallon, I was sharing that um, I knew you had done something for Fat Tuesday. I didn't do anything. I kind of wish I did now. Um, just a few other things that I shared in Shallon's party. I need to put like one more layer on this. So I'm just going to quickly go through a couple of slides real quick. All right. So um, a few items that I shared in there. We went through some cocktails. So we talked about the premium cocktail set. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite cocktail. Um, Pampered Chef, in addition to having some really awesome just re like recipes and other items, they also have a lot of sustainable items. So like if you want those stainless steel um, shaker or the stainless steel straw, stuff like that, I, sh I shared a lot of recipes, but then also some of those items as well. So the shaker, the um, stainless steel straw, 
Everybody loves a good Cosmo. You have a citrus berry smash here. One of my favorites, an old fashioned, because I am a bourbon girl. Anybody else love bourbon? I'm a bourbon girl. Um, this is a French 75. I've never heard that, had that before, I don't think. But you can't go wrong with champagne, right? Everybody loves this champagne. Mojito, super classic. Scream summer, if you ask me. We just got back from Mexico not that long ago. Uh, like last week, I was in Mexico. And mojitos and Mexico, I mean, come on. You just can't go wrong. Classic gimlet. Uh, if I'm not drinking bourbon, I'm probably going to order a gimlet. Let's be honest. Um, bourbon and vodka, just super simple, super classic, super refreshing. When Shallon again gets three bookings, she'll qualify for a $50 shopping spree. So her link again is in the comments. Um, my pinned comment there should be the link to do some shopping with her. And if you want to book your own Pimper Chef party from hers, she will earn $50. Jenny does vodka. I feel you. I feel you. Vodka is, is classic. You just can't go wrong with vodka. Did anyone eat anything fun for Fat Tuesday? I'm going to put one more layer on this thing, but talk, talk to me. Tell me what's been going on. What has everybody been doing? Have you done anything for, for Mardi Gras? Anybody celebrate? I, I know, like I said, Shallon had like beads. Oh, I need to put some cheese on here first. Hold on. I'm about to mess this up. Yeah, I'm put some cheese on here. Um, I know Shallon did some some stuff for, for Fat Fat Tuesday, I think it was. She went out. She I saw, I saw her pictures. She had beads on and everything. Don't let her fool you. Just because she's a mommy, she has fun. That's what we got to do. It's called balance, ladies, right? You have to have a balance. I went to Mexico without my children because balance. And they have, they have a father. So they were totally fine. They had a wonderful time with their father. No children were harmed in the taking of a vacation. They're, they're totally fine. And when we don't do separate vacations, because we don't, usually we don't do separate vacations. Normally my husband would go with me. He did not this time. That was kind of a first. Um, but yeah, we, they have grandparents. Grandparents love to see them. So, you know, they were fine. They don't care. They really don't. They don't really miss me. They say they do. I don't believe them. I don't actually believe that they miss me at all. My son is upstairs right now. I don't know if you can hear him. He's yelling at the TV. He's playing the Xbox. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He doesn't care about me. It's okay. It's fine. He's having a good old time up there. I'm not entirely sure that I have enough room for one more layer in here. So I think that might be about it. I'm going to add a little bit more cheese on top. I only got really like two layers of noodles in here. I thought I was going to be able to squeeze in one more, but this is not really the, the best baking dish for this. I have a deep baker, uh, Pamper Chef deep covered baker. I have the old one in the cranberry color. I think now it's in a really pretty white color, um, but it used to be a cranberry. And then for a little while, I think it was in gray. I think they've had a teal, um, super pretty colors, regardless of what your, your theme is in your kitchen. It's sure to make it pop. It makes a statement for sure. Um, Jenny, did you get a punch key by chance or any of my Chicago gals? Did you, did anyone get a punch key? I'm going to live vicariously through you. <laughs> They're so good. And I didn't get one this year. I'm so sad. All right. Um, does anyone have a favorite Pampered Chef product at all? I'm going to shove this in the oven. I'm going to show you guys first. Here it is all ready to slide into the oven. I think it looks pretty good if I do say so myself. I definitely would have loved an extra layer in there. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, seasoning on the top and then slide this bad boy into the oven. 
Um, again, I will say that my favorite Pamper Chef product by far, uh, if I had to just pick one, I would say the Medium Scraper because that is the one that I use most most days, like almost every day, I would say I use the medium scraper. So if you had to ask me, I mean, it, it varies by day, but that I consistently use, but I'm, I'm truly a pamper chef. Like I have purchased many, many things for myself over the years um, because I'm in the kitchen all the time and I love being in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that, I don't know if that sounds very feminist of me, but I love, I, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't even want to talk about, we can talk about that later. We can talk about that later, Jenny. I feel you. Political hell is no joke right now. It is super serious. It's frightening. Um, yes. So I don't want to bring down the mood of the party by telling you all of the things, but just know that you are not alone in that political hell. Let me tell you, there have been some tears over here, honey, tears, tears over here. Um, and not happy tears, not happy tears at all. Um, but sometimes you have to do that. You have to cry it out and then pray it out and hope for the best for everybody. Um, that's, that's still alive. It's just been been really emotional. Um, but yeah, my favorite Pamper Chef party, uh, product, though, varies from day to day, I would say. Um, overall, though, I cannot live without my scrapers. I really, truly use them every single day. This um, medium, woo, my medium scraper, I would say, is my favorite because it fits the best in all of my pans. I have, in addition to my Mercy Cookware set, I have the Executive Cookware set from Pamper Chef which I love. It has lasted such a long time. I have two of the larger pans and then one of the smaller ones that I, I refer to as my, my omelet pan. This is the perfect size for just one omelet, but you can do lots of different things. Um, if you've ever seen any of my ramen noodle pictures, whenever I fry an egg to put on top of my ramen noodles, I use that, that pan, that small executive cookware set pan. But this, this is my best friend. I love it. Love my Pamper Chef. This is the medium um, scraper. Yes, this is, the, <laughs> this is the medium scraper. This is the skinny scraper. And then if you saw the whipped cream video that I did with my son, that is the mini skinny scraper. So mini skinny scraper, skinny scraper, medium scraper. And then this is the big one. This is the large. Um, but I use them all depending on the day. I'm gonna slide this in the oven um, for, I think it's about 20 minutes or so, 20, 30 minutes. We'll see how it works. Um, this oven, I'm gonna tell you about this oven in a second. All right, I'm black. <laughs> uh, so funny. Okay. So this says to bake it for 50 minutes. I don't think it's going to take that long. Everything's pretty much cooked. We'll see what happens in like 30 minutes. But anyway, th this oven is sometimes the bane of my existence. I was really excited when we moved in here. We're renting a house right now. And I was really excited because it's a con convection oven. So it has the fan on hey, the inside. Mom, yeah. Um, can you, can me and Eton sometime play? I mean, sometime like, um, you have to ask daddy about that. Time? No, you have to, no, you have to ask daddy about that. Okay. okay bye. But do you know no, bye. Is? Yep. Bye. Okay. <laughs> that was the boy. That was the boy child. Um, so yeah, I was really excited when we first moved in here because it had the fan in there and I was like, oh, I've never had an oven like this before. I've heard great things about how well the fan works on the inside to redistribute the heat and cook everything really evenly. <laughs> I don't know if it's just old or what the problem is, 
it cooks everything pretty quickly, but evenly, I'm not so sure about that. I'm not so sure about that. But what are you gonna do? You're renting the. I'm renting the house. We're renting the house. It's. It is what it is. We'll be out of here soonish. Soonish, and I'll let you know where we're headed next. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try and bake that for about 30 minutes. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, in between time. Uh, here is the March host gift. So this is what Shallon is going to earn. She will get 60% off of anything she wants for the month of March. And again, these host gifts change from month to month. So if you cannot host right now, that is totally fine. If you would like to host later on, I will share with you all the deets of what you can earn for yourself in the month in which you'd like to host. Anytime, just let me know. Um, Fat Tuesday, if you are in here and you, <laughs> um, if you're in here and you know our lovely host, Shallon, say hey and let me know how you know her. Um, I know everyone that I've seen make a comment in here so far. So we've met in various places that I will not say um, publicly. <laughs> But I'm so happy that I got a chance to say hi to all of you. Uh, if you decide to purchase something, you can also earn your own gift with purchase. And you can choose from one of these items with your purchase. So um, you can also get um, with, I think it's 50% off. I'm sorry. A purchase of $150, you get free shipping. Um, so yeah, aim for that. Right. Um, like I said, Pamper Chef of course is known for all of its cookware products, but they have a ton of pantry items that I know and love. I've not tried all of them obviously, but cause they're just too, they're too many to try. These are some of the newest ones that came out in the month of March. So recently as of March 1st, they have, um, some new stuff. So their infused oils uh, are kind of cool. Their sauces, I have not tried their sauces yet, but I cannot imagine that any of them are awful. Um, they'll keep around the ones that they like and they'll discontinue the ones that they don't like. That is typically what happens. So Pamper Chef is constantly getting new things and there, so there are always new things to try. I will say, I'm gonna show you some rubs and the rubs, I, especially the smoky barbecue rub, the smoky barbecue rub is one of my favorites. That smokiness, oh, I love that smokiness. I've added it to um, barbecue sauce, especially. Mix it into the barbecue sauce with some apple cider vinegar and ketchup, and it makes the most outstanding rub ever. Like my kids, as picky as they are, they love that rub with the barbecue sauce. So the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, you can't go wrong with that one ever, but I will definitely be purchasing one of the Pamper Chef um, barbecue sauces or sauces to try with that smoky barbecue uh, rub that they have. They have they have so many different things that I love. If you like popcorn, you can do, an in, I could do an entire popcorn themed party for you if you want, because Pamper Chef has so many different things for your popcorn night. Um, so if that's something that you want to do, let me know. They have these uh, that you can add to popcorn, so different flavors. They have things that you can add to your slow cooker to, you know, some kind of meat or veggies to spice things up. Your carnitas here. Oh, I mean, I can eat Mexican food pretty much every night of the week. Um, and so, yeah, carnitas. Yes, sign me up. What else here? So we have French. I almost can't see any of these. Okay. French onion dip and guacamole. If you just need one spice for all of your guac needs, <laughs> you can do that. This is the smoky barbecue rub. Also, I've also tried the Greek, the chili lime and the lemon garlic. You can purchase them in these sizes that you see here on your screen, or you can also purchase the taste bud subscription and you get smaller packets that you can try out these different flavors and really truly you get enough in each one of the taste buds packets for a couple of different meals depending on what you end up cooking so i'll show you what that looks like i got one 
recently. That is uh, all-purpose dill. So this is what the packet looks like. This is the all-purpose dill. I have not opened this one yet. I have not tried it. But they, um, this has dill weed, dehydrated garlic, dehydrated onion, herbs, and spices. But they are um, salt-free. No salt, sugar, or preservatives added. Um, so you can rest assured you're not getting a whole bunch of sodium in any of these, which is really nice. You can add your own. It is zero milligrams of sodium on the back of this. So um, for anybody that has health concerns, or if you know anyone who has health concerns that may want to purchase something like this, these are all salt free. So you add your own salt if you feel like you need it. But if not, you get this really amazing flavor in these packets. Uh, along with your Taste Buds subscription, you will get these packets. You'll get uh, usually three of them to try. You'll also get some recipe cards that you can, just kind of suggestions of different things you can make. For this month, I'll show you that slide in just a minute. You get, um, there's a Pad Thai seasoning in there. Yum. I love Pad Thai. Anybody else like a big fan of Thai food. We went to Thailand. That was baby's first vacation. Alex's first vacation was to Thailand. And we realized we could eat Thai food every day of the week. So if we had to live in Thailand, <laughs> don't think I would get too bored of Thai food. Uh, if I had to live in Mexico, wouldn't get tired of Mexican food. <laughs> I could really live anywhere. I, I think I could probably live anywhere. Um, Japanese breakfast, though, is still by far my favorite. If you've never been to Japan, I highly recommend that you visit or just Google like uh, Japanese breakfast and try out there. The smoked salmon with a little omelet. Oh, it's so good. And the seaweed, the sticky rice. Oh, it's just perfect. It's the perfect amount of food. And it's just the perfect, not so filling breakfast with a little cup of coffee or tea. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Taste of comfort. You have the South Carolina style barbecue, the Kansas City style barbecue, crushed red peppercorn and garlic, and the chipotle, chipotle, chipotle flavors. Um, again, these were also featured in a taste bud subscription. So I have tried a few of them. I got the South Carolina barbecue, I think, and the Kansas City style barbecue for sure. I don't remember getting the garlic, uh, the crushed peppercorn and garlic. I think I also had the. The last one, I think they had the Chipotle too, but I don't remember. Okay. These two I refer to as my children. So you have a Korean barbecue and a Tex-Mex. <laughs> my son was born in Korea. My daughter was born in Texas. Perks of being a military family, right? Kids are never born in the same state, let alone the same country. Um, but yeah, Korean barbecue. We eat a lot of Korean food. We got hooked on it when we lived in Korea. So can't go wrong with the Korean barbecue flavored just about anything. I'll do Korean barbecue or bulgogi meatballs sometimes. We will we'll repurpose those into something else um, when we need to. I put Korean bulgogi meatballs into some ramen noodles for the kids, and they really liked it. They really, really liked it. So that was the whole thing. All right, sweet basil, three onion, garlic, and smoky applewood flavor. You have your southwestern, your coarse sea salt, and uh, Himalayan salt there, and a rotisserie flavor. And then these are sort of more traditional flavors, I guess, the garlic and herb, bell pepper and herb, lemon pepper, and Jamaican jerk. Jerk, 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 jerk. Okay. Um, season salt. I had a cousin that purchased the season salt and now he pretty much swears by it. He said that he's used it several times already. He bought a few different rubs and, um, this is the one that he used the first and immediately got hooked on it. So love him for that. Love him for supporting me and love that he loves it. Like he, he really liked it. Although he did say that his dog got to set a lamb shoulder that he was, I think it was a lamb shoulder. Pork shoulder, pork, pork shoulder, I think, that he used the season salt on there. And he was mad as one would be if your dog decided to eat your dinner. Um, the all-purpose dill, again, I have this one um, in the um, the taste buds size. So if you didn't want to purchase the whole thing, if you want to get a taste buds membership and just try out some of the different seasonings without purchasing a full size of one, you can do that as well. Let me know if that's something you're interested in. And then finally, the Italian seasoning there, which again is super traditional. You have 
everything bagel, Asian, everything but the pizza. I've heard of people putting the everything but the pizza flavoring on grilled cheese sandwiches. I would never think to do that, but you know, when in Rome or whatever. These are also brand new to Pamper Chef, the beer bread, the caramel latte bread, and the Italian herb bread. So they're adding some breads. Here comes the little one. Hi, you all done out there? Yeah. Mom. Miranda. Amelia, that nice. Oh, that's that's amazing. All right, pretzel dough. Outside. Oh my gosh. Do you... Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Um, pretzels and pizza. Oh my. You have pretzel dough and pizza crust. Anybody else do their own homemade pizza? Or if you want to host a pizza party with me, let me know. We can host a pizza party. Pamper Chef has some mini stones. They they really encourage the entire family to participate in mealtime, which I love because, of course, my kids love cooking. They love baking. They love being in the kitchen with me when they feel like it. <laughs> so we've done quite a few kid takeovers in the professor's kitchen, and they love doing that. And we baked up some stuff. They have their own mixing bowls and measuring cups and spoons. And the, um, I got them some little cookie figure thingies with different emoji, the emoji cookie cutters that they love. Um, all sorts of fun things for the kids to get involved in being in the kitchen. Um, they also have the mini pizza stones. So if you want to do individual pizzas with the kids, you can get the pizza stones and the pizza crust, and everybody just makes their own pizza, and they're happy about it, right? Right, hopefully. <laughs> All right, um, these are also brand new, the dulce de leche, dulce de leche cake. Um, I've seen this one done. I have not tried it yet, but it does sound like something that is right up my alley. Chocolate chip cookie and brownie pancake and waffle donut. The donuts I've seen people do in the air fryer. So there is a Pamper Chef recipe. If you want to check that out on the Pamper Chef site, um, there's a recipe for the donuts in the uh, air fryer. So you can totally do that. Make them healthier, healthy, slightly healthier donuts. Okay. All right. Um, the enrichables. This is what I was mentioning that you can add into just about anything. My favorite by far is the super veggie. I've added that into um, quite a few things. Sorry, Shalyn, sending me a message. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I freeze though? Am I still on? Can you guys see me still? Let me know. Let me know if you can still see me. Hugs, Jenny. Um, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate the support. Um, the Enrich Your Life with the Enrichables. Uh, the Enrichables, you can purchase as a subscription or you can do an inv individual order. I did an individual order um, a while back for just the kale and fiber and the super veggie. The super veggie by far, though, is my favorite. I think it's super versatile. You can put it in just about anything. Um, I put it into um, pasta sauces. I put it into taco meat when we're doing taco, taco night on Taco Tuesday. Um, and that includes ground bison, ground turkey, ground beef, whatever you want to put in your taco. You can also add in a little kick, a little boost of veggies by um, adding the enrichables, the food, super veggie or the pea protein. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the kale and fiber for taco night, but meh, oh, to each his own. Um, the kale and fiber and the pea protein, though, you can definitely mix into um, some smoothies. And there are some um, Pamper Chef products for that as well. Taste buds, I mentioned the March deliveries will include the new pad thai mix, the chipotle rub, and the crushed peppercorn and garlic rub. Um, but remember, those also come with their own recipe cards so that you can try out the recipes as well. Look how shiny. So these are a few of the new products, the new nonstick skillet, stainless steel wok, the not, uh, another nonstick skillet, and 
that so there are different sizes there <laughs> 10 inch eight and a half inch and 12 inch uh, non-stick skillets uh, you have the deluxe air fryer which again if you wanted to combine that with the donut mix you could do donuts in your air fryer if you want to do that and you have this large muffin pan because who doesn't need a couple of muffin pans this is one of those things that you don't want to just have one muffin pan in your house for sure um, because I have not met a recipe yet that I can fit all of the recipe, like all of the batter into just one muffin pan. I don't know if anybody else has miraculously been able to fit it into just one, but I've, I've never been able to do that. I need at least two or three muffin pans for this. My One of my favorite products, Pamper Chef products though, is the square um, brownie tin. And I can quit, I can get quite a bit into that because there, there are lots of little squares there and I love those crispy edges. Love it. All right, drop in the comments. Let me know um, if you are A, B, C, or D. A, my kitchen is loaded with Pampered Chef products. That's me. That's definitely me. Totally me, all me. Um, B is I own a few Pampered Chef items. C, I've heard of Pampered Chef, but I don't own anything. Or D, I'm a rookie. What's this? <laughs> so I am definitely a pampered chef, um, I wouldn't say addict, aficionado. I'm a pampered chef aficionado. I love my pampered chef products, um, and I have lots of their stuff in my kitchen. And that is, I took a big, long break from being a Pamper Chef consultant, but even when I wasn't a consultant, I still bought a lot of Pamper Chef stuff. So there's that. Um, this is one of the items that I was mentioning that you could use along with your kale and fiber um, or the pea protein. You could use the um, the veggie as well, the extreme or yeah, <laughs> the very veggie uh, enrichables, but you can do the... Um, smoothies or soups or lots of different things in the deluxe cooking blenders. If you don't have a blender in your kitchen already, I do recommend the Pamper Chef one. I have already have a Vitamix that I invested in, so I don't need another one, I don't think, but who knows? It might happen one of these days. The batter bowls, again, if you did not see my batter bowl earlier, I definitely use the um, the batter bowl. This is the, the classic one, so it's the larger of the two. Um, I do not have the small one, but I wish I did. Some days I wish I did. Today I wish I did. Just, just throwing that out there. I wish I had it. Um, all right. So the pancake and waffle you can use with the pancake and waffle mix. You can use with the deluxe grill and griddle. Uh, so making pancakes or waffles, whatever whatever you'd like on there. Um, you can also do grilled sandwiches and all sorts of fun things on there. All right. Um, we're coming to the end of this. So if you have any questions for me, that's, that's pretty much it. That's all I have. My, my lasagna is smelling amazing right now. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you heard the little one. She's like, it is. It does smell really good in here, doesn't it, Means? Yeah. Yes, it smells really good. It smells so good in here right now. So, so good. It smells like a lasagna. It smells like a, a lasagna. It does smell like a lasagna because it is a lasagna. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lasagna. She's telling me what she likes. You come here. You like lasagnas with what? Mm -hmm. Maybe like. What kind of lasagna do you like? Do you like veggie lasagna or seafood lasagna or do you like a traditional meat sauce lasagna? What's your favorite? Well, I usually like the lasagnas that people make on um, that people make on 
What do they make? Were you watching people make lasagna? Mm -hmm. Oh, what did you watch them make lasagna on? On a TV show? No, on, no. I search for videos on my TV. You're not supposed to do that. Mm. Rascal. <laughs> 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 All right, well, the lasagna should be done in a minute. I am going to go ahead and end the video, but if anybody has any questions or comments, let me know. Or if you said you like the lasagna. <laughs> I'm going to post pictures later on on the Professor's Kitchen um, Facebook page, so you can jump over there and uh, like the page for all of the different uh, videos and um, pictures and stuff of food. I'm, I'm a total foodie, so I, I, love, I love all the food. I've been posting pictures of the food from my trip to Mexico. It was really, really high quality food over there in this resort that I stayed in. It was fantastic. I loved, loved, loved it. I have not eaten so much ceviche in, <laughs> I don't know when, maybe never. I don't think I've ever eaten that much ceviche, but it was so good. I couldn't say no to it. Anyway, um, don't forget to um, like and subscribe. Uh, liking this video helps out a whole lot. It will let me know that you like the video and you want me to do more videos like this. This is my first live stream, so I don't know. Let me know. How did it go? <laughs> like it if you liked it and let me know that it went well and maybe I'll do another one one of these days um and subscribe to the channel there's lots of fun stuff on there again the kids have done several kid takeovers in the professor's kitchen everyone seems to love it when they do um my son and I did the uh demo of the whipped cream maker when I received that so um hey hey Come say bye. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, like, subscribe, uh, and don't forget to check out all the fun stuff over on the Professor's Kitchen Facebook page as well. Uh, again, I will post the pictures of the finished lasagna, which I'm guessing should be coming out of the oven pretty soon. It's gonna be delicious lasagna. It's gonna be delicious lasagna, she says. I think, I think so too. I think it's going to be really good. And don't forget to shop um, Shallon's party and feel free to book your own party. Contact me if you want to book your own party. Again, um, if she gets three bookings, then that will help her out. If she'll get a $50 shopping spree. And if you book your party this month, you will get 60% off. If you purchase, um, if you place an order through her party, you can earn one of the host gifts that they're or I'm sorry, one of the um, guest gifts. There are three different guest gifts to choose from. Um, or you can check out, let me know uh, if you want to do something next month and I can send you information about hosting your own party next month. Or you can join into one of the parties, someone else's party next month and get one of the guest gifts. Right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You want to say bye? Bye, and Nami will send you the recipes. Nami will send you the recipes. Bye. <laughs>